welcome to Cognitive Hub VBA tutorials. In the last video, we have seen about the various conditional statements. In today's video, I am going to discuss about the various loops in VBA. Now, without any wasting time, let's dive into the topic. So, these are the loop statements that I am going to tell you and discuss with you in this video. The first one is for loop and the next one is for each and then do while and then finally do until. So I am going to tell you the differences between the do while and do until with the help of a spreadsheet in the next video. But for now, let's uh, let's know about the syntaxes of all the four loops at a time because uh, you will get some idea about all the loop statements in VBA at a glance. So I am uh, in the first statement. Uh, first uh, loop was the for loop. Here, what is the main uh, use of the for loop? Uh, the loop statements itself is. Suppose what happens is in a spreadsheet, let us consider that if you have a 100 records, if you want to calculate the column A and column B and put the value in the column C. So for one record, you can able to do it manually and write it, write it in, in the column C or you can also write, you write the macro code, for, uh, macro code for calculating the sum of a column A value and column B value and put it in the column C just for by using the column a value and column b value of first record so what if you want to do the same operation for the all the 100 records that you have in the same spreadsheet so i will explain you about uh, using the worksheet objects in the i will explain you about the how to get the values from the worksheet and all using the worksheet, ob worksheet objects in the worksheet objects video but now i am going to illustrate about this loop syntaxes and how to how this works uh, work with the help of uh, uh, other data types uh, like strings and arrays <coughs> in VBA with the help of a spreadsheet and macros. So here the syntax is a little bit of different from the other programming languages. Uh, it looks like a uh, programming uh, syntax in Python. Like here what happens is for the counter is nothing but a variable that you want to initiate the value value equals to like counter equals to the counter may be either variable like i or j for counter equal to the starting value where you want to start either either you want to start it from 0 or either you want to start it from 10 or 100 whatever you want to end what is the ending value like if you want to count the value uh, values from 0 to 100 then you can mention it as the start value as 0 and end value as 100 and in bracket the step value by default the step value is 1 if you are if you want to um, go twice at a time like if you want to add this uh, counter value by 2 at, uh, for each step then you can mention the step value as 2 there like uh, for i for counter equals to 0 to 100 space 2 that is the counter uh, step value and once you enter once you enter this uh, enter the into the new line you can write this uh, what are the statements that you want to execute for the for that particular record or for that particular statement and then followed by the at last uh, you need to write the next what the, it next will do is it automatically go back to counter and it will increment by 2 and then again uh, it checks for whether the value is less than n or not if it less than n then it will again execute the statement and it will go forever and if the value is not less than n then it will the loop will break and then the for loop execution completed and then what are the statements that you return after the for loop it will get executed that is all about the for loop and in the for each what happens is um, the syntax is a little bit different the syntax is for space each space element is nothing but a counter in the for loop element means uh, whatever the type of uh, variable that you have in the group suppose element is i in my case i in group is nothing but a data type like uh, the variable the data type variable like uh, string or array variable like that which can store about uh, which can store a small amount of uh, number like string array or integer array whatever it may be and followed by the list of statements that you want to execute in the first statement and and then next statement it is also automatically go to for each loop and but here the step count is by default it is one so that is the difference between for loop and for each loop for each loop is mostly used in the case of arrays and these are the do while and do, do until loops i will tell you the main differences while writing 
while writing while executing this to do while and do until do until uh, loops in the next video but the for now the main differences is while statements while loop statements will be executed as long as the condition is true the loop should represent should be repeated till the condition is false i think you will get uh, you are getting this and the uh, do until statements will be executed as long as the condition is false that means uh, if you declared the i equals to 0 and in the do while condition in the condition you are writing as i less than 5 and uh, for every time you are increase you are increasing this i count like i equal to i plus 1 what it will do is it will print the values from i because i is 0 0 is less than 5 it is true so it will go to go inside the while while loop and it will execute all the statements here but what happens here is if you declare i equal to 0 and if you write the do until condition as uh, i less than 5 so here 0 is less than 5 the statement is true so it won't uh, it won't uh, go to the statements it automatically increments the next statement and it will only print if the condition is false suppose if you write uh, here 0 suppose if i equal to 0 in the do until loop do until condition you are writing it as i is greater than 5 suppose uh, for every time you are increasing the i value to 1 so what happens is for i equal to 0 to 5 it won't print anything from 5 onwards the condition is becoming false so it will print it from i is i is equal to 5 to and so on until the condition that you have written so that is all about the do while and do until loop so i am going to illustrate this do while and do until loops in the separate video to to to, to understand you guys uh, clear so i am going to explain uh, about for loop and for each loop with the help of arrays in this video let's get into it okay guys let's see for loop as well as for each loop with the help of a spreadsheet as i already created command button and all so i am directly going into the vba editor so this is the previous code that we have now i am deleting this and i am writing the code dim x as integer suppose if x is equals to input box enter a number now i want to print uh, values from 0 to that particular number now i am writing a for loop here and also i am declaring a variable dim i as integer and i am assigning it to 0 and i am starting the for loop here for i equals to 0 to the final value is x the step value is suppose i am saying it as 1 sorry we need to declare it as a step here value here step 1 is the statement that you want to execute here i am just printing i don't want to execute any statement message box here just i am printing i equals to ampersand value of i oh, that's all and then i am ending sorry in the ending statement is next so it will automatically iterate, <coughs> iterate to above i value so i am saving it so i am going to spreadsheet and i am clicking here for button one and it is asking for a number so i am clicking here six so okay so for every statement it will give us the messages like i equal to one two three four five until six that's it so the for loop is working fine so if you don't want uh, every time the message box then you can write then you can make some operations here i equals to um, suppose uh, some value sum equals to sum plus i 
and once after the completion you can write here the sum of x numbers x numbers is ampersand sum but you need to declare sum as a variable here sum as integer sum equals to 0 so these are the declarations that you need to do and again I am saving it and I am running it from the spreadsheet I kept 5 so it is saying the sum of first 5 natural numbers simply so this is all it works this is all about the for loop now I want to I want to illustrate the for each statement now what I am doing is I am declaring a array here just the array name is uh, my array my array is equal to some array to be declared starting with a syntax array and cat as a one string cat bat so and then flat and these three are the strings that is present in this array now what I am declaring is dime my names as variant this is all about for variant now what I am doing is I am writing a for each loop for each item right so item instead of <coughs> item item in my array my names equals to my names ampersand item ampersand so instead of uh, printing it every time I am doing I am printing only once next once it is done I am printing the my names which have uh, cat bat flat in a new line statement all strings are ampersand my names so I am saving it let's see what the output is so see these are the strings like all strings are cat bat flat so I am printing all these three strings in a new line so that's why I am it came separately so this is all about the for each and for loops so I will discuss the do while, do while as well as do until in the next lecture thank you guys